standing proud in a vast sugarcane plantation of Ashenda Claparols in Talisay City, once the grandest ancestral house ever built with its symmetrical architectural design, we will be visiting the Casa Grande, the first presidential residence in the Philippines. What's up? Nandito tayo sa Talisay City Papasok ng Talisay City And yun, bibisitahin natin Yung isa sa pinakamalaking ancestral house Sa buong Negros So dito nanirahan dati Ang nag-iisang presidente ng uh, Republic Ng Negros Or the Cantonal Republic of Negros Kaya papasukin natin Dito Sa Hacienda Claparol So yun, katabi lang siya ng uh, Nature's uh, Village Resort And yun, papasok tayo sa isang asyenda uh, It's a um, dirt road Sa malawak na kalupaan ng mga claparols Yun yung mga current generation of our grand, grand uh, Children of General Anisito Lacson So basically, uh, yung mga sikat talaga na mga ancestral houses or um, lumang bahay, uh, 19th century houses or bahay na ba ito ay makikita natin sa Silay. But there are some that are still standing dito sa Talisay City sa iba pang panig ng Negros. But we'll try to go here and check. The current situation of the Lakson Ancestral House. So, yung uh, pinakasikat na current attraction sa Negros is uh, the ruins, obviously, uh, which is owned by Mariano Lakson, the brother of. Anisito Lacson na sinunod ng mga gerilas noong World War II para hindi gawing headquarters ng mga Hapon, di ba? at the ancestral house of General Anisito Lacson here in Hacienda Claparols in Talisay City. This is really one of the historical treasures of Negros because this is the seat of power of the only president of the Cantonal Republic of Negros. Anisito Lacson is an ilustrado, a sugar baron who led the bloodless Negros revolution from the north dating back in November 5, 1898. This mansion was built in the 1880s and a home for his family of 11 children. After the Spanish surrendered in Negros, the Negros Canton Republic was established and General Anisito Lacson was proclaimed as its president. He held office in this mansion and made this as the seat of government from November 5, 1898 until they surrendered to the Americans. Among the illustrious guests of the house through the years were Emilio Aguinaldo, Andres Bonifacio, Emilio Jacinto, Juan Luna, Manuel El Quezon, and Sergio Osmeña to name a few. During the Japanese invasion, It was spared to be destroyed because of the chapel on its left wing where the Santo Enchero was laid. It then became the headquarters of the Japanese and later the Americans.
2014 when the current generations tried to do the restoration, but due to the lack of funds, the conservation takes very slow. Most of the wooden parts of the mansion is deteriorating, and you will see cocoa lumber used as a scaffolding to support the upper floors. Today, the Luxon Claparols family have joined forces to establish the General Anisito Luxon Ancestral Home Foundation, or GALA, whose main function is to restore the Casa Grande. But due to its size, extent of conservation work is huge. The current damage to the house, if allowed to continue at its present rate, will further endanger the structure and render it inhabitable in a few years. That's the um, General Anisito Lacson Ancestral House Dito sa Hacienda Claparols Sa Talisay City That's the current um, situation Of a very historical Balay na bato here in Talisay, Negros Occidental If you're new to my channel And you like our content Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell Para gala lagi kayong updated Sa ating mga Ride, eat and tour Ah, yes, mga